Hi everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here. Happy New Moon. Let me know if you're here. Give me some hearts. I'll await a few people arriving on the call. Hi everybody, Michelle. Oh, we have someone who's just jumped on. Let me know who you are and give me some hearts. Would love that. Awesome, we've got some hearts coming through, so that's really beautiful. Can't see any comments yet, but, uh, you know, it's Mercury retrograde and it's a, a happy new moon and we've got planets all going backwards and it's all happening, people. Oh, goodness, my phone's going to go flat. That is, this is bad. Hold the bus. I shall plug it in. Let me know if you're here. Oh, hey, Natalie, happy new moon to you too. We've got five people on the course, so that's really, really lovely. Probably dragging you away from the football, if you like football. Hi, Justina, how are you? Um, really great to have you here, guys. I just thought I would jump on, given it's a new moon. Thank you, Maggie. Lovely to have you here. And I would like to, um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, and I help you to connect with your angels so that you can gain an easier and more prosperous life. There you go. That's what I do, people. Isn't that lovely? So tonight I wanted to talk to you about my up-and-coming masterclass. Hi, Lorna. Hi from Ireland. Uh, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. But I wanted to share a story with you about how important it is to learn how angels communicate with us and to learn the secret language of the angels. And that's what I'm going to be teaching in the masterclass. Now, I've got this absolutely true story that was shared with me this week in the Healing Centre that I uh, wanted to share with you. Um, hi, Helen, how are you? And it is a very powerful story and it, it's absolutely true. I'll just get my notes because I wrote a few notes because it's not my story. Uh, I was telling Mary uh, is a lady from Melbourne who her and her husband come and see me quite often at the Healing Centre. They come up to get their car serviced up here, which is lovely. And uh, she always comes in because she absolutely loves angels and she loves the centre. Uh, and, she, and her name is Mary. And she had a granddaughter who was named after her, little Mary. And unfortunately, little Mary became very sick. And Mary, grandmother, prayed and prayed and prayed for a miracle for little Mary. And Mary, Grandma Mary, had been over to Italy to Lourdes. And she had some holy water that she got from Lourdes, of course. If you're Catholic, you'll know that that's very powerful. And she believed in, you know, Mother Mary of Lords and, and uh, you know, the power of the, the, of the holy water. So little Mary lay um, very, very unwell in the children's hospital and Grandma Mary put the holy water on Mary every day and prayed for a miracle. Unfortunately, they didn't get their miracle and fate would have it that Mary did pass into the world of the angels and God and took her in their arms at the children's hospital now at the time of her it's a little bit of a sad story hey leone it's a little bit of a sad story but it's a very true story and of course everybody was just absolutely devastated that mary passed but mary was very very unwell and uh, of course they loved her so much that unconditional love they you know of course that it was god's will to take her home but at, when she passed Grandma Mary noticed on one of the machines that were monitoring her the number 57, okay? Now, since that day that that little girl passed, Mary and the fam, or especially Grandma Mary, has been seeing the number 57 at very important times of the day or when, the you know, things are happening and she always thinks about her beautiful little girl. Hey, Leone, her little granddaughter. And she knows that that is a very special thing that the angels communicated to her on that child's passing. And she was very quick to pick it up. It just stood out on this monitor, this number 57. She had no idea what that number meant. 
it was later that she found out that little Mary actually passed away on the feast day of Our Lady of Lords. How beautiful is that? So Grandma Mary's putting the, the holy water from Lords on little Mary and then she passed and it was only like it was a week or so later that Mary found out that she actually passed on the feast day of uh, Mother Mary of Lords. So isn't that beautiful? What do you think about that story? Since this day, uh, hi Leonie, since this day, every time Mary sees the number 57, she instantly knows that Mary is with her. Mary of Lords is with her and her granddaughter Mary is with her. Now, from Doreen Virtue's uh, Numbers, Numbers 101 book, the number 57 means the changes you are experiencing are for the best. So it was Mary's time to go. She was in pain and she was suffering and the miracle, yeah, bless her, yes, Maggie, um, she wasn't to stay. Trust the changes uh, to lead you where you want to go. So you know, it was meant to be really, like it was time for her to pass and she passed on the uh, the feast day of Mary of Lords after having the holy water on her for days. Now, I have also done work on numbers, which keep that under your halo, not released yet, but it's got me to, to bring out my manuscript. And number 57 from what I've channeled, I've actually called it, uh, given it a one word, for, which is called an our angel power word and the word is fearlessness the divine creator is sending archangel michael to your side so that you can summon the extra courage to act fearlessly so this family had to really dig deep and really you know just become so courageous to move forward without this beautiful little girl in their life it's time for bold action and to push yourself outside your comfort zone. And that's what, you know, to to get through the, the death of a child would be just, I just can't even fathom it. But Mary just told me the, the amount of comfort that she received because she knew how to tune into the way angels speak has given her so much comfort over the years since this little girl passed. Beautiful story, Michelle, I love Our Lady. Yes, Helen. And, of course, she's with mothers and children and grandmothers as well. So, you know, the number 57 has has just appeared for her time after time after time in her life since the passing of her granddaughter. She said they planned a special holiday and they I can't think where they went, somewhere in the States maybe, and they sat down and, you know, she often thought about this little girl of course, she had a connection to a grand granddaughter and the same name. And the the person that was serving them their meal brought out a, a, a bottle of sauce that had the number 57 on it. And she goes, I just knew she was with us. I knew she was with the family on this holiday. It was her the sign that she knew that little Mary was around. Isn't that just beautiful? It's very goosebumpy, Natalie, and it's a true story because, and I asked Mary's permission, could I share this story? I was only going to share it in the masterclass, but I just thought I'd come on. I think it, it's a, a very special story. It's a very sad story, but, you know, deep faith can really hold you, kind of, it really holds you in times of really uh, desperate need, but also in you know, any time it holds you. Deep faith is is uh, really what we all need to to you know really uh you know cling to isn't it yeah so um any other comments about that story because like i said it is a a true story and the number 57 for someone else will be probably completely different so you have to understand that uh, the way angels talk to you is very very personal and the way they might they might deliver one sign to me and then they might deliver another sign to Mary and it will mean completely different things. That's why you need to really learn how to understand what they're saying to you and learn how to decipher their communication. Okay, does that make sense? Beautiful. Not seeing many comments. You're all very, very quiet. Maybe I've stunned you. <laughs> on a Saturday night with a little bit of a sad story. But you know what? That 
one number has given that family so much comfort. And because grandma is so in tune, she understands how the angels speak to her, she relays the messages to her daughter, okay? Uh, Michelle is saying, thanks for that story, Michelle. And, of course, Mary, that story resonates with me for similar reasons. But ours was a butterfly emblems turning up, yes, and that's yeah, that's so true. Like, you know, people will see lots of butterfly um, butterfly communication around people who pass. Um, now, my, uh, now, that's right. A friend of mine was killed um, about I don't know, I can't think how many years ago he was part he passed, but his daughter was married uh, recently this year actually, and my son and his girlfriend went to the wedding, and as they came out of the wedding, there was just this amazing rainbow over the whole crowd, the the everybody that was at the wedding outside the church, and my girlfriend, uh, my son's girlfriend, took a photo of it. And the bride was actually her father, that was her father who passed, but she didn't she didn't even see it. She had her back to the rainbow, but the rainbow was just showering everybody that was at the wedding. And my uh, son's girlfriend said to me, um, she said, I said, Jeffrey, this is a sign. This is a sign her father's here. So she understands, you know, how angels talk to us. Yes. So um yeah, very, very beautiful uh, ways that the angels talk to us. Doesn't always have to be about sad things either, but it's just that this was, uh, you know, a very sad story. But the way the angel, like, and you know, Mary, Mary and her angels will get that sign triggered to her grandmother over and over and over again. And it wouldn't matter if Grandma Mary was in the desert, if little Mary wanted her to see a fifty-seven, she's going to see it. Yeah because they know that she picks up that sign and that's, you know, it's how they work. Anyone got any questions about my masterclass because I'm so excited about it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the content because I haven't really gone into great deal about the content because it is so in-depth. Um, this is this class is going to be held over. There's only four days to register. That's why I need to get on and tell you and I've only got a small amount of spaces left. We have had quite a few bookings and I'm only taking a small class. So if you're interested, jump on and, and book in ASAP. So I'm going to talk about how angels talk to you. The first thing is, of course, angel feathers, signs, which I absolutely love, but there's so many of them. It's not just one little feather. There's coloured feathers. There's finding specific bird feathers. We'll take a different twist on that. Then the feather symbol can be uh, given to you not in feather as it as a feather. It could be a pictorial feather or it could be the word feather. So it, they really amp it up. There's falling feathers, there's planted feathers. Then we have all sorts of angel nature signs. Signs in the sky, which, you know, they're just numerous. Rainbows, falling stars, cloud formations. And it goes on and on and on. Orbs, I'm going to talk about orbs. I've got fabulous photos to show you of all examples of all these that I've collected over the years. Other nature signs such as snow, uh, the breeze, flowers, petals, going into flower meanings, finding flowers in unusual places. Angels love flowers, especially roses. Trees, twigs and a thing called animal ostent. I'm going to have a can never say ostentia, which is about all different animals and how they. Um, I don't know whether I've said that right. Doesn't matter. Um, and the symbology of animals. Okay, even the high cat. Even though animals aren't really my thing, I like to look at them, and I do get uh, regular animal signs myself. And usually they're the rabbit. And the rabbit can have lots of different meanings. One. Uh, like for one person, if they saw numerous rabbit signs, it can mean that their, you know, fertility is high. They might be going to have a child. They might, might be going to birth a new project, that type of thing. For me, when I see, it's usually about babies because rabbits, you know, they do multiply people. When I see the rabbit sign, it's usually, for me, it means that things are manifesting quicker than I think. And it's always a very, very good sign, okay, for me and my business. Uh, I'm going to look at words and numbers. As I said, we talked about Mary's uh, number 57, very specific for her. It will mean something different for everybody else. Uh, because, and we'll talk about sequencing and how, how this sort of works. We're going to talk about uh, words and numbers, written and voiced. 
repeated words, names and numbers combined. <coughs> I'm going to talk about ascending number patterns, descending number patterns, mirrored number patterns. I absolutely love this. It is so exciting. I just love it. I've researched this for years. I learn more things about it every day. I just find it absolutely fascinating. And as I said, my mission is to help you to connect with your angels so that you can gain an easier and more prosperous life. And if you can understand how the angels communicate with you, that's what you're going to get because you will follow your guidance, okay? We're also going to talk about colour, angel colour signs. Angels love working with colour. Uh, we're going to talk about abundance signs from heaven, so signs for your prosperity, which is really wonderful, uh, altered electrical equipment, uh, symbology, shapes, sacred ge geometry. Then we're going to go into some, which I've never actually, uh, yeah, 555, five, five, very, very cool. I can actually quickly tell you what that means. It's a multiple number, so it's very important for you, Leone. Hold the bus. I'll give you a number meaning of my own work. I'm not going to go into everybody's numbers, but uh, I will. It means it's a breakthrough coming for you, Leone. So that's really cool. Cool, cool, cool. As I said, I'm going to be talking about some advanced angel communication. Uh, I've never really actually taught this before. Oh, I've spoken about it, I think, at the Mind, Body, Spirit, um, but I've ne never actually taught it in a, in a class per se. Um, so this is things like transcendent angel signs. I'll explain what that is. Synchronicity, you will have heard of it, but you may not understand what it is. Parallel lives, it's very rare, but it's happened to me, and I'll tell you that story. It is awesome. We're going to look at things such as time stood still, which is uh, an intervention of Archangel Michael. It's a way that angels communicate with you, usually saves your life. We're going to talk about epiphany, serendipity, and golden tongue wisdom. Now, you're welcome, Leonie. So that's an outline of the masterclass. It's going to be held over four Wednesday evenings starting next Wednesday, the 15th of August. I can't wait. We're going to have a closed Facebook group and I'm going to encourage participation. So that means, you know, we'll do one set of um, ways angels talk to us one week and then we're going to be on the lookout for those um, communications in our everyday life and taking photos and putting them into the closed group and I'll teach you what I want you to, to think about at those times and how to journal about it and that sort of stuff. So it's a great way to decipher what the angels are trying to say to you. Okay, you'll learn what is your, what the, the angels will work out what is your sign or your medium that they'll communicate with you. Once they know, see, Leona, you are brilliant with numbers. They're going to hammer you with numbers till the chaos come home, girlfriend. Because once they know what you're good at picking up, they'll keep giving it to you over and over and over again. So that will help you immensely. Has anyone got any questions about the masterclass? Any uh, questions? If anyone's interested, I'm here to help. Thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate it. It's Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here. I help people to connect with their angels so they can lead an easier and more prosperous life. What is prosperity? It's, uh, it's a really, it's the epitome of abundance. It's prosperity means health wealth and peace and isn't that what we all need okay in our lives health wealth and peace and each one is is as important as the other anyone got any questions for me before i head off um i hope you enjoyed the story about mary it uh, really touched my heart when she shared it with me and uh yeah just just so so beautiful anyone got any questions Anyone seeing any signs they would like me to um, decipher for them? If not, I will um, let you go onto your Saturday night. Uh, contact me if you need any more information. The link for the masterclass is in the post here. Happy New Moon. Make your wishes. Ask and you shall receive. Be very, very particular. Be very specific about what it is that you want. Get definite so the universe can get definite with you, people. Jody says, my clock, clock keeps stopping. What time does it stop on, Jody? You need to be looking at the time that the clock's stopping because that is, a, that is the way the angels are talking to you. It'll be a number sign, okay? So have a look at that. 
I must tell you this the other day, Jody, um, talking about clock stopping. Uh, I went to get up to get dressed to go to the, actually, I actually haven't even looked this up. It's very slack of me, uh, to go to the AOK Healing Centre. And my watch that my beautiful, but 9.25, okay, hold the bus. Um, I'll talk about my watch in a moment. Just let me look this up for you, gorgeous, if I can find it. I'm going through my notes. Just a moment. So nine is about sacred service, okay, in the world, and 25 is trying to find it. 25 is about change. So it's about changing the way you're serving in the world, Jody. Have a think about it. Uh, yeah, so my actual watch that my boys had given me, which I really love this watch, stopped at 10 to 8 in the morning. So, you know, for me, I need to look that up, what um, 7.50 means. Seven's always about God. And... Uh, I'm just trying to follow my, I can't even follow my own work. It's so long since I've done it. And 50 is about evolving. So, uh, yeah, the changes that you're experiencing at this point in time are heaven sent. You are mastering higher energies on the earth plane and are evolving into a purpose-driven spiritual light worker. Thank you, angels. The world is ready for you to spread your unique love and light. Well, I hope that's what I'm doing here with you every time I come live or all the work that I do so thank you angels but it made me pay attention and yeah I had to go and buy a new watch anyhow not to worry I've got another beautiful watch so I'm very grateful for that any other comments oh you are gorgeous Jody. thank you hi Bronwyn how are you gorgeous yeah so there you go so I'm gonna love and leave you because I've got to work tomorrow at the healing center and we had, had a very busy day today I had a beautiful lady today must just share this story with you come all the way from Sedona oh, that, oh, goodness it's such a long way it's in the middle of nowhere up between Adelaide and Perth she came here to see me and my beautiful healing center how touched am I how blessed am I to do this work and she just loved the center and she was in yesterday and saw Sharon and today she had a salt session and she um, she had a reading with me today. It was just beautiful. Kate O'Keefe is saying, I was listening on YouTube, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Love that song. One of my favourite songs. The next morning the song came on as my alarm. I feel that my mum is close by. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, well, no doubt. And, you know, that's really tuning in, Kate, to how you're feeling about that communication that you received. So, you really knew that that was your mother sending you that message. And this is a way that uh, angels can communicate through words and it's often through music and songs that come on, you know, songs that are that come on the radio or, you know, they like the number of times. We had a lady come into the AOK Healing Centre this week and um, she, thank you, Leon, she was telling um, Sharon, she came out of the salt session and she said, you know what, that was just so special. And Sharon goes, oh, that's lovely. She goes, no, you don't understand. She said, while I was in there and relaxing in the salt room, she said three of the songs that were played at her son's funeral came on. But she felt so blessed. She just knew he was there. She didn't feel sad. She felt blessed. You know, she knew that he was around her. And that's really how the angels can communicate with you. Yes, Kate says definitely, yeah. So, yeah, they can they can send us those communications through songs for sure, through books, through cards, all different ways. We're going to talk about all that in the masterclass. It's just so lovely. And I'll have um, some amazing stories to tell you, and they're true stories because I don't tell lies. 
So that is beautiful. Uh, I want to thank Mary and little Mary in heaven for sharing their beautiful story about uh, the, the angel sign that she sent the family on her passing. See, the thing is, if you don't understand how angels talk to you, you're not going to pick it up. So, mom, you know, Grandma Mary, she knew. She, she saw that and she went, bang, that is going to be important to us. She didn't know why, but it was certainly important to us. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, so I am, yes, Jessica, very, very beautiful. Hi, Nancy, how are you going? So that is my story. Uh, if you missed the story about Mary, uh, go back and listen to the replay because it's a true story. And I had permission to share it. So, and it was very, very beautiful and touching. So, any other questions about the masterclass? I'd love to um, answer anything that you may have. Um, let me know. I'm just looking at um, any other questions that we've got here. I don't think there's any more. So, take care. I need to go to bed. And uh, hello, Sharon. And I will see you soon. So join the masterclass links in the uh, post here. And please like and share the stream because then other people who may need to learn how to communicate with angels. Hello, Tracy. How are you? Um, yeah, can join us. Okay. Take care. Bye. Happy new moon. Make your wishes. Oh, will I be running it again soon? I may be offering a replay of the masterclass class series, okay, for, you know, next to nothing. So thank you, Leone. So yes, there will be probably a replay um, program offered. Thank you, Leone. Would love a message. Okay. On Monday night, I'll be doing uh, readings, holistic time. Okay. Bye. Thank you.